Hello, Requiem 87, and welcome back to Rule the Waves 3 as we continue our fun adventures as Spain. And we are, of course, rejoining things in the middle of a battle as we are supposedly invading mainland France. So the question is still out about that. Um, this is the first game I played on, or first time I played on 1.00.37, so it's a, a large update that has just come out. There's a whole bunch of changes associated with this. Um, they have, in terms of the major gameplay ones, they've kind of tweaked where you can do some rebuilds. They've, they've expanded uh, the whole, people with multiple home areas can now rebuild in either area if you have the right base capacity. Uh, they've changed the victory point score if you decline battles which are miles away from your home. Uh, they also made a whole bunch of UI changes and done a bit of a, a ton of bug fixes as well. Um, obviously, full change log on the Steam forums and other forums if you are interested in the details. Um, one of the other changes they made is, is was actually to how the game is saved, uh, which changes both the directory but also the, the configuration of the save file. So I've had to convert my save across. Now, theoretically, this should be fine. Um, although I did, I did get one error message when I had finished. So I'm hopeful that when we finish up and I save this and I come back, it's not a big corrupted pile of nonsense. But we shall see. Always fun in games and excitement when you're dealing with these things. Um, okay, and we'll have a look at the changes uh, that, that have come across in the update as we, we get through them. I don't think there's anything too, uh, let's say, too earth shattering. It all seems to be kind of uh, evolution, not revolution. That's the standard phrase people use. Okay, but back to the action. Where are we? Who are we? What's going on? Well, we are, of course, as I said, we're, um, uh, we are escorting this invasion fleet. And word escaped me for a moment. Um, and the battle has gone relatively well so far. We've sunk the uh, Ruin, which was a 40,000 ton French battle cruiser. Um, but we've also needlessly sacrificed three destroyers. But that's a pretty darn good trade on any given day. We are, of course, in the middle of a night. Uh, it is, what, eight and a half hours until dawn, so a long way away. And we are currently um, ah, running scared is a strong phrase, but we are um, uh, using that better part of valour uh, and avoiding the French destroyers in the night time. Is, uh, is, yes, that's how we'll phrase it. Uh, so, yeah, bravely, uh, strategically repositioning. So we don't bump into the other stores. And it's fine because our fleet, our transport fleet is down here. So that's not a concern. Uh, just a recap of the forces to hand. We have got our uh, entire air wing. So we've got the Adelbert, or so our original conversion, our light cruiser of Vietnam, and our only fleet carrier of Atlantia. Both are lovely new battleships, the Trident of the Neptuno, and then uh, one of our two uh, great battle cruisers have been stalwarts of the fleet for a long time now. Excellent. Um, I don't think there's too much to do, apart from unpause and hope nothing breaks. Okay, unpause, nothing is broken. That is a very good start. Um, and yes, yeah, so the plan is, I think, is just to kind of keep our forces together. Wait until we get towards the sun up. Ideally, I want to stay towards the fleet as well, so they don't get um, hijacked in the night time. And then we shall see what becomes us at dawn. So after, after having done a big long introduction, I think I'm actually going to put another cut in here because I think this may just be me sailing around for eight hours avoiding uh, contact till the, the dawn comes. So assuming I have a quiet night, I'll see you at daybreak. So we have not made it until daybreak. We made it uh, two and a half hours, just two and a half hours. Um, but as you can see here, we have an unknown ship is firing at our transports here, Merchant 1617. So something has made over here. I think, I think I'm just going to grab the La Rioja here. And I'll get her to go and investigate. Um, rather than send in this is Whoa! Oh, this is bad. So we've found the French ships. This is pretty scary. Uh, let's all break north. So let's probably destroy a destroyer battleship, I presume. You are way too close to my fleet, my air ships, air ships, my air arm, my carriers. So let's get you over there. Do I want 
to get you guys involved. The problem is the French do have a lot more destroyers kicking about, although uh, this may not be all of them. And it may be an opportunity... Uh, okay, I see the problem is I've started after having thrown away a whole bunch of destroyers and feeling bad about it. I've now loaded up the save again, and I'm feeling emboldened. And uh, unlike things are only ever going to go my way. Let's go line ahead. Let's go squad max and let's just cut across here. Um, I'm really, really worried about the these guys taking the torpedo. Why is that not progressing a next turn? Oh my lord, this is not good. Okay, so we managed to hit these destroyers, but we are its in the middle of their formation, it looks like. And need to extract my battleships without without getting a... Oh, never mind. France has been hit by a torpedo. Now, one torpedo is not the end of the world. We can survive that. Uh, well, that's, uh, that's a hefty flooding number. Um... The problem is our speed has already been nerfed a little bit, but we need to extract ourselves without taking too much more. And there's just... I'm not sure the best way to go about it. Uh, okay, Neptune was hit by something. We, I mean, Rioja here is, uh, is lighting up this destroyer quite nicely. So really my options here are either to kind of keep going the same direction, torpedoes from the light cruisers possibility, Cut north and hope we can utilize this destroyer before he actually launches his torpedoes. Or try and run south, but we know there's also more trouble up there. So I think I'm going to actually try and cut north and hope we can kind of deal with this destroyer before they cause us any problems. Okay, two more hits on this little destroyer. We've been... Uh, it was a heavy hit on our Neptuno, probably from this, I think, what is a battleship. And some light hits from this destroyer as well. Okay, we've hit the heavy cruiser with our 16-inch guns. We keep lighting up the destroyer with 4-inch guns, which is good, because hopefully that's going to stop it hitting us with anything. Um, and we've also hit heavy cruiser with another 16 inch gun from each of our ships. I'm also going to get the rocket to come across this way. She might feel like she could throw a torpedo in the mix. They are battleship, assuming you have any left. You have some on the starboard. Which is this side. I always have to think about that. Okay. Oh, you are still far too alive for my liking. Uh, Neptuno takes two hits, medium guns, but uh, doesn't penetrate. Uh, also takes heavy gun hit, doesn't penetrate, and we hit that with a 16-inch shell. Oh my god, this thing needs to die. I'm so worried about it. Uh, two more hits with a 16-inch shell and some 4 inches for the fun of it, I suppose. <sighs> we didn't, didn't get it. That This turns out to be a terrible decision. <sighs> there's one, there's two, there's three. Oh my god. We just took an entire salvo from that destroyer. We're gonna lose her. <sighs> yeah, she's done. Absolutely done. Ah! Stupid French. Oh, they just—we just seem to end up in the middle of them. Oh, this hurts me so much. Yeah, she is dead in the war. Oh, and then Rocky gets hit by a torpedo, because of course. And she's sinking now. Right, Neptuno needs to try and get out of here to survive. That is the Bouvet class, which is a really old one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe we just lost one of our beautiful new ships. Oh, and she's on fire as well. Well, let's limp you back to the fleet. Um. Yeah, we could try and take her anger out in the Bouvet here. Why not? 
Right, let's make sure we don't lose our eyes on anything else. You just stick around here. I don't risk you. You're going to head off in the fight. You come up and help to escort the Neptune. Yeah, we tried him sinking. I'm so upset by that. Let's slow ourselves down 25. We're going to go this way. And you guys are going to hit her with some torpedoes. There we go. This is not, by any stretch of imagination, a fair swap, but it's something at least. Okay, there's one torpedo, there's two torpedoes. And that one we seem to miss with the entire salvo. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three. And another round's probably about to go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We got angry. We did angry things. Um, so we, we did sink one of our battleships. Not not fair swap by any stretch of imagination. Our Trident is a much better ship. 36,000 tons there versus, I don't know, it's like 20 and old. <sighs> Saddens me. Really, that's our first outing. Right, you need to limp back. I'm going to slow you down to say 10 knots. Let's get you a fact. No, we're going to keep, keep it 15 for now. Fire still at level 1. Flooding is under control. Uh, I think your job is going to be to try and get home. Uh, even if there's another day's worth of fighting, I don't want to risk you. Uh, and these guys can now pull out. Let's head them back down here and then I'll send them back to go meet the um, carriers. Exciting, but deeply, deeply upsetting. Okay, fire is out on the Neptuno. Yeah, she's fine. She needs to go to port. Let's head you off over there. Uh, you guys, I'll take you off the eye control. You can go back to the carrier division. And you keep coming along. Okay, good. Well, not really. But it's done, I suppose. Yeah, now we're just exacting their revenge and our poor Rioja. Now, if we get close to dawn, obviously we have another chance at taking out the last battleship that's floating, kicking about. Which would definitely be uh, fitting. Uh, I'll just tweak this. I know we're a few hours away, but... Uh, I want to bring the left one in. Let's do... That too narrow? No, I think that's... I feel that's okay, because it's from where they are back towards their port. Don't worry about night camp. Okay, now we're back to this. Slowly going through the night. The highs and lows of this game, honestly. Let's not abandon the Neptune. You know, she needs screening. And this is why we desperately need more destroyers. And they're, and they're on their way, but... Um, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Ah, get you down here. You're supposed to be screening these blooming things. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Uh, not you, you need to get down here as well, squad max. How has this happened? Uh, I mean, that's their battleship. This is our fleet carrier. This is, this is now this, uh, oh! Two hits on Atlantia. And of course she's on, on fire at a four. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? She been hit. That's it. First two hits. It's just gone up. Poof. Right, you guys go out here. Yeah, she's she's essentially toast, isn't she? Ah, uh, you have a little bit of torpedoes left, but not that many. But you've got some, and we need to do it to try and save something, anything. Alright, my only hope is you guys get back to uh get back to port before you burn out.
Okay, launch. That was terrible launches. Uh, who else has got Via? Mia still has all six. Didn't fancy it. Okay. Oh, you, that's, Okay, we need to look at this, right? 10.01. No. 10. 10 must be the day. 1.17. There we go. In the morning. She gets hit. At te uh, 9 minutes... The fire is so out of control they banish it. Nine minutes. It all been going so well. And yeah. <laughs> ah My navy has been crippled right before my eyes. Ah, I cannot believe this. You you were, yeah, okay, you got hit. That was it, out of control. Ah, so all we have left is the Adelbear. This is, uh, this is crazy how this has ended up. I mean, fair play to the, uh, the very aggressive French here. They have, oh, um, yeah, absolutely done me over here. And, and, and it's interesting, so I, tactically, not huge amounts, I don't think I could have done, especially that second one, we were, you know, we were, we were, I suppose, thought we were protected, doing what we can. I de there's definitely a case to be said that strategically, I have failed my ships in not building enough light forces, which, of course, we were trying to rectify, um, but then failed to do so. Let's make sure you stay in the middle and don't bump into any unknown people. I wonder if that battleship's going to come back. Right, how's the Neptuno doing? Let's make sure she doesn't get ambushed. Mm, it's just a destroyer. I'm not interested in destroyers. I want to know where the recon airship, where their battleship is. I think they may have may have decided it's time to turn and run. There it is. There, going away from me. Okay. Oh, that's an interesting opportunity. If we cut back to say hello. Uh, yes, let's attach her. You do have to put his left. Yes, you do. Go on. Just launch, please. No. Oh, yes, yes. Well, even though we blew up, we launched. <sighs> Run away. <laughs> Run away. You, are, you don't need to put his left. You can go back to doing whatever it is you are doing before. And you are damaged. With you have six torpedoes, so I'll keep you around. Ooh, okay, one hit. One hit will steer you in. Uh, eighty-eight percent damage. It's not not ideal. And where where is anything? You're still alive. You are still alive. I need to are dead. My transport fleet's down there. Which is, at this point, I'm I'm kind of giving up protecting it. I want you to run north, I think. Oh, these are right. This is the one we're trying to get in towards. These are all. Oh, you're out to Pudos. I thought you had four left. Apologies. Now I've got you gone and got you sunk.
Let's use squad match 16. All right, no point. I don't want to chase down someone with 16. I'd rather use save the fight for another day. Right, Asturias, you just kick, kick around. I don't want you to go fight things in the dark. Now we're in 40. Are you starting? I mean, I don't know what planes you've got. You have 19 torpedo bombers on you, actually. Um, well, do you know what? Let's ready them up. Try and salvage something from this. So we're going to have lost a fleet carrier, a light carrier, and a battleship. They've currently lost one battle cruiser, one battleship. So I'd say they're probably slightly ahead. We've also suffered quite a lot of damage to the Neptuno, although that should be fine. Uh, ten airship are, are approaching enemy ships. That's good. It's up here, so we know we know roughly where they are. Uh, so if we want to be bold and brave and all sorts of wonderful things, how long would it take our airstrikes to get up to here? Oh, I need to select them, don't I? Mm, okay, we not not quite yet. Once this is kind of daylight, I'm gonna probably launch it, and we need to send a couple of sons. In fact, I'd probably just drop you guys there. Okay, so we can send fifteen of them. If we coordinated it, ooh, okay. We've only got to wait about ten minutes. Of course, they may also travel further in those ten minutes. You know, bomb hits. You should know roughly where they are. Oh, we hit it. And I don't think that's a heavy cruiser. I don't think they have any heavy cruisers. I think that's their battleship, which is hit again with a bomb from the airship. Uh, okay, so now... Now I wonder if enough time has elapsed. Oh, you're still saying this is darkness. When when are we saying light is coming? Um, our 504. Ah, but then you have that little bit of pre-dawn, don't you? We're now saying, how can it still be the same? Or have you just not updated? You've just not updated. I'm going to give you another minute. Go for it. I'll get them to coordinate, because why not? We're going to go, I'm going to send the strike uh, this way, just so... They might fly overhead. We're going to target battleships, wherever you see, and go for it. Godspeed. Uh, and then I might as well send the last ones, although, well, why not? I mean, they'll actually end up there first. Because they're not coordinating. Okay, and we're, we're not going to, I don't think, pursue manfully. There's a lot of destroyers there, but are frankly terrifying. Looks like the Neptune is going to get home okay. I wonder if there'll be any more strikes from our other air bases. Although this is the very edge of the range. Oh no no. Uh, hang on. Yeah because that was our ships. This is the edge of our range. Uh, yes, please get into port. Okay, so we have at least one, one, <laughs> one ship saved from this debacle, and maybe if we can, if we can, we can. Oh, look at that! Just as the sun comes up, we get in the area, and if you can only spot them, yes. Okay, okay, this could be a good end. They do have a lot of uh, a reasonable number of, of destroyers coming back, so we might have a, a bit of AA. Uh, sorry, who's seen? Oh my god, what are you guys doing down here? And what are you? No, you're the, what? What are we shooting at? What? What are you guys attacking then? I think it's a cruiser. Oh dear lord, we're in trouble then. Okay, you are going to have to head over here. 
I mean, whatever else we hit it with our torpedo. You need to go south. Um, I'm afraid you're going to have to stick around. But yeah, let's get you on squad max heading this way. And then, okay, we are bombing airships. Bombing. Ah, oh, you've just flooded from Calgary. Who or what are you bombing? That I don't know. Uh, we should hopefully get some attacks from Palma, although what aircraft do I have on Palma? Uh, yeah, it looks like I've got all the right kind. Type bombers and torpedo bombers. I'm really interested to see what we're actually attacking, but I've... My bold strike has not necessarily paid off. Okay, yeah, you guys are all approaching and I'm gonna have to wait for a... A new day. Well, we've hit something. Another torpedo in it. It may just end up being like a transport. Uh, Ligorno has set his new force flag division. Uh, not a random destroyer. Oh, you. Can I now control you? Okie doke. Okay, battleship is there. Stewardess is steaming as quickly as she can. We've got only three destroyers. Which I am okay with. Right, you need to go squad max. Let's get you running this way and see if they turn to follow. And then we can get our Asturias in on the reaction. Uh, you need to stop being shot by this battleship. Oh, you're getting absolutely mullered here. Okay, and it's running north. That's good. Okay, the Asturias is almost going to start to open fire. I need the Lugorno really to act as screening for it. Oh, this is interesting. Another heavy ship. You get anyone back yet? Yes, you do. All right, ready up again. Oh, seaplane tender. I mean, it's just. It's just anger that I want to sink it, <laughs> to be honest. It's not a threat, really. Okay, I need one more. Okay, good. You guys, are, I'm just going to target the St. Louis. Seems like it's going to take a long time. Oh, it's because I haven't selected you. Select all ready, please. No, wrong one. All select ready. There we go. Uh, it's going to take you quite a while to get there if it's. However, uh, I'm going to coordinate it because I I really want I want to hit. Okay, we'll start opening up against the Saint Louis. We're not where we've hit anything yet. Uh, the Lugornos is going to desperately need to do some uh, defense work against these destroyers. You can't wait. They're doing a good job of making me turn, protect their, their heavy ship, which is their job, so credit to them. You go after those two. You can now turn around and pursue the battleship. I, w I would quite like to hunt these things down. An enemy aircraft. Well, that's not good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Six dive bombers. Yeah, you're super exposed. Uh, bomb hit in the engine room. We all know how aircraft carriers respond to bomb hits. A little bit of flooding. No fires. What have you come from? Oh, I don't know. I think the French force maybe ended up being much bigger than I gave it credit for. Oh. 
Okay. You're alive? You are alive. All right. Well, let's see if we can get you home. You guys are going the wrong place. Do you not know of a ship's move? Masturis, usually old reliable, is somewhat failing us with landing hits. I just essentially does that as I uh, continue to upset it. I think the St. Louis has got some damage here because it's running slowly. Um, so if we can keep plastering it with 14 inch shells, I'll be happy. But one of its rear turrets out of action, which should hopefully reduce the incoming fire. Is that your ship? Uh, yeah, you head for Barcelona. Uh, okay, so we've got our five torpedo bombers are approaching something. They're here. Which way are you going to go? You're going after destroyers, aren't you? Maybe? Yeah. You're wasting your torpedoes on destroyers. Also, need to watch out, but you are now somewhat exposed against these destroyers. Okay. Okay, they're now heading north. This is good, so you can keep going west. You've got some torpedo bombers coming in against you, which is always dangerous. Okay, no issues there, though. Oh, that seems like a lot. 22 some things. Uh, level bombs. Are these medium bombers or something? I'm not sure. Um, okay, so we've taken a bomb hit. Oh, show me your damage, please, Asturias. Uh, a fair chunk of structure damage there. I think we may have to give up on this prize and concentrate on not dying at this point. Yeah, another bomb hit. And they stop. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. This is all going a bit pitong. We've got. Oh, apparently, we've got 10 torpedo bombers left. Let's ready them up. Okay. So, well, can we do. Well, that's still not, <laughs> still not fixed. Uh, can I tell you to be heavy? All right, well, make do with what you've got. Hmm. Okay, that's not really a concern. Some torpedo bombers haven't got one of my destroyers. Apparently we've got what was F means. Not sure. Uh, but yeah, so if I if I register, you're gonna see you've got no, no torpedoes, which is fine. But I not ask you to. No. So, uh, so what you should do is you just right click on um, this and turn to Eddie. If I do what bit that, no. Oh, oh, damn you bugs. Okay. Well, in what is an, probably an entirely pointless endeavor, I'm going to send you up probably to here, I think. Um, don't worry about that. Go for it. Let's get home. Let's analyze this mess. Let's see where that leaves us. Do you know, I thought, when we came in, I thought it's great. We've had a fantastic start to this battle. We'll do some hide and seek in the night time. Maybe even flick some more losses in the next day. And, uh, and this war will be, uh, you know, easy street from there on out. Yeah. Turns out, 
that wasn't to be the case. Um, let's see, yes. Let's see if our <clears throat> to be the bombers find anything. Mm, I mean, it feels like they're in the right place. There we go. They found them. There's only a couple of them, though, so I'm not really expecting much. And looks like they whiffed. Okay. Right, what state are you in, Adelbert? You're actually fine. A tiny little bit of flooding, but that's okay. Oh, did you auto-dock? Yes, you did. Okay, well, I was going to keep you out. But that's fine. So we should be able to just jump onto faster. We may get some more air attacks, if we're lucky. Although there is a little bit of a... I think it's just the kind of longer range stuff can get up here. Mm. And then I'm limping back to port. <sighs> ah, okay. Well, they did have their, which I suspected when their attacks came in, but not something we identified earlier. Uh, Victor France, which is, I, I think, fair. So we lost a battleship, a CV, and a, C a CVL, and a light cruiser. They lost one battleship, one battle cruiser. And only, only two destroyers. That's disappointing. Ah, uh, a medium damage there in the other one. Especially if the battleship they lost was a really bad one. This thing. We lost our beautiful trident. That was a great start. Absolutely smashed into pieces. Look at that. 64 heavy hits. Um, show me... Oh, our, our air issues and our problems. Show me, show me... Uh, can I view the... Okay, so you're all hiding up here. There's your... There's their air arm. I don't know why I keep calling it an air arm, but yeah. There's their carriers. There's the St. Louis limping home. So she took a... She, she took a torpedo, I believe. I don't know, can I get back to ship details? I can't remember. Perhaps not. And she took a bomb. Oh, I never did find out. Oh, I really want to find out what we hit. Can you show me? Results screen. Ship details. Aha, we can get back here. Uh, well, we can start looking at So she was hit by two torpedoes. No bombs, though, actually. And not a rune. Uh, St. Louis. Just one torpedo hit and one bomb hit, but uh, yeah, generally fine. I wanted to look at, well, we can look at what got hit by a torpedo. That's top, tor torps fired. It's, no, that's who did. Prince being hit, torpedo hits, there we go. So, <laughs> yeah, the Verity was hit by 11, then the Trident was 4, Ryoka, Ron. Uh, so 2 into a random French destroyer, 1 into our destroyer, 1 into our light cruiser, 1 into their destroyer. So where are these? Where, where were these? So I think, so these reports of us putting torpedoes into heavy cruisers, I don't know, is it these destroyers then? Was it just completely false reports? Because it wasn't the St. Louis, because she was nowhere near it as well. Nothing else took torpedoes, so it must have just been these destroyers that were up there as part of some force. Hmm, okay. And then what, what kind of bombs were we being hit with? 500 pounders. 
Ha, look, after me saying it was completely useless, it was from the uh, Seaplane Tender. Probably revenge for us saying it was useless. Okay, this is uh, definitely, definitely causes a bit of food for thought. Ah, so the game's not saying they won by much, about a thousand VPs. Okay, which, uh, f fine, the loss of the ships are now much more upsetting than the actual battle result. Captain De Navio Valsamus missed the last tactical exercise as a result of a late golf tournament, which is win. We've suffered, what should we do? Fire him, have him beached, let him go. Uh, I will have him beached. I don't actually know what that means. Presumably it means he just stays on the beach. Uh, okay, so apparently we're now better at hitting with air launch torpedoes. Less accidents, bigger air bases. And China wants to buy our torpedo bomber. Uh, absolutely. Why not? Have a go. Have at it. We lose some VBs. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, despite the chaos that's going on in the Mediterranean, glorious Spanish f f uh, troops uh, cross into Anam. Excellent. Okay, let's put, let's put a little bit of a smile back on my face at least. Um, okay, for trade warfare, we lost four merchants there and one more for raiding. That's not really enough for me to get worried about. Whew. Okay, so hey, we're positive now, which is nice. Is everything under construction? No, you are not. You need to be. Because boy, do we need you. So, uh, uh, yeah, we're not that much in the black, though. I can afford this for one, maybe two months. Meanwhile, what if, what's left in the med? So, never mind corvettes. We've got two destroyers, a light cruiser, a uh, light carrier. Are two glorious battleships and one uh, battle cruiser and one battleship. So that is a that is a small force. Um, that is a really small force. I mean, my whole navy is titchy, but now most of our forces are out in Southeast Asia. I'm curious to see if they will counter by trying to blockade me. Um, they may need a few months to get repairs done first to then see if they can muster enough forces to put a blockade in action. I'm not convinced they can, they though. They're not convinced they can. Uh, let's refresh the almanac. So they've got one battleship and one being built. They now have no battle cruisers. They are ramping up production of carriers, though. Yeah, I mean, now we're going to absolutely dominate. So we were in a really good position originally. Not so much anymore. So I think that's... Yeah. I don't know. I need everything, but I think we're going to have to invest in carriers next. Um, maintain destroyer production while investing in carriers. Yeah, we have eight destroyers left. That's somewhat embarrassing. Okie doke. Wow, their budget really shot up. So we were essentially on the same budget before the war. I guess they have deeper pockets in, in terms of, uh, in times of emergency. Are we, what, we're less than Japan at the minute. What's going on? I wonder if these have been rebalanced. I don't know. Uh, okay. So, what, what kind of, I don't know, one step forward, one step back. Hopefully we can at least steal an Anam an, an from them. Uh, interesting to see if they respond. Any f ships on the way? No. No, they don't. So we've got a light cruiser there. And a light cruiser there. And that's it. And one down there as well, but that's doing presumably foreign stations. So currently, they're not plan they're not even trying to defend Southeast Asia. So we should actually be able to very quickly take all three of those places, which would be cool. Um, excellent. All right, cool. Let's leave it there, and then we'll we'll see if we can get ourselves in a winning position next time. But yeah, that was uh, that was rough, but we'll only make our comeback greater. All right, I'll catch you then. Cheerio.